Hello students, the problem is find the Z transform of cos of n pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So one of the important question, the solution. The solution is so we need to find Z transform of cos of n pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So here what I will do here let I will consider u n is equal to cos of n pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So this question to apply any z transform and all we will first simplify by using what here a trigonometric result. So, sine of A plus B formula, sine A plus B is nothing but, so uh, I want, uh, sorry, uh, I want to apply cos of A plus B formula. So, cos A plus B is nothing but what here? It is cos A, 1 by 2 times, 1 by 2 times, cos of, uh, sorry, so, cos a plus b is nothing but I will write down here so it is a direct formula not 1 by 2 it is cos of a into cos b minus sin a into sin b so we need to apply this formula first then we can go for z transform so therefore our u n will become that is cos of n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 so a value is what here n pi by 2 and b value is what here pi by 4. So we will apply in above situation that is cos of n pi by 4 into cos of pi sorry n pi by 2 into cos of n pi by 4 minus sine of a. A value is n pi by 2 into sine b. Sine b is what here sine of pi by 4. But we know that sin cos of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 as well as sin of pi by 4 is what here 1 by root 2 so therefore i will write it as cos of n pi by 2 as it is cos of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 minus sin of n pi by 2 sin of n pi by 4 is also what here 1 by root 2 that is sin 45 degree and cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 is common from both the terms so 1 by root 2 will take outside so therefore cos of n pi by 2 minus sine of n pi by 2 so we got and left hand side is what here u n so take uh, z transform on both side now so z transform of u n is equal to 1 by root 2 as it is bracket z transform of cos of n pi by 2 minus z transform of sine of n pi by 2 so i have taken this but we know we have a standard formula we know that z transform of cos n theta is nothing but it is z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Hope you have remembered this standard result and also we know that z transform of sin n theta is nothing but it is z sin theta whole divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So what I want to do here, so here in the, I will give this as equation number 1. Why? Because, so we have two terms, z of cos n theta. So theta value you can find here, n theta, so n theta. So theta will take what here, pi by 2 in the above situation and will write for cos of n pi by 2 result by using this and sin n 
theta that is theta value is pi by 2 so we will write what here sin of n so in place of theta we will replace what here pi by 2 and we will write the second uh, that is uh, z transform sin n theta and we will apply in the equation number 1 so therefore now so <coughs> theta value is pi by 2 in both the cases so therefore therefore now i will find the value of z transform of z transform of cos of n pi by 2 i will find by referring to this formula so this is nothing but what here z into z minus cos of pi by 2 divided by z square minus 2z cos of pi by 2 plus 1 so on simplification on simplification so here cos of n pi by 2 that is z into z minus in place of theta what i have replaced cos of pi by 2 divided by z square minus 2z cos of pi by 2 plus 1 but cos of pi by 2 is 90 cos 90 is what here 1 so Sorry, so here cos pi by 2 is there. So cos pi by 2 is what here? Uh, cos 90, chi, cos 90 is 0. So therefore, uh, the steps will be what here? Be careful. It will be z into z minus 0 divided by z square minus 2z cos of pi by 2, which is again what here? 0 plus 1. So therefore z into z is what here z square divided by so 2z into 0 is 0 so what we have left here z square plus 1 so therefore z transform of cos of n pi by 2 is nothing but what here we got z square divided by z square plus 1 so we'll keep ready and we'll later we'll apply in the equation number 1 now also we need to find the value of what here uh, z transform of sine of n pi by 2 which is nothing but uh, as per the formula it is z into sine of pi by 2 divided by z square minus 2z cos of pi by 2 plus 1 so which is nothing but z into sine pi by 2 so that is sine 90 sine 90 is 1 divided by z square Bind. So here again cos pi by 2 is 0, 0 into this entire thing is 0. So what we have left z square plus 1 is left. So therefore I can say that z transform of sin of n pi by 2 is nothing but what here z divided by z square plus 1. So we got uh, z transform of uh, cos n pi by 2 as well as z transform of sin n pi by 2. So therefore our equation 1 becomes, equation 1 becomes, that is z transform of un we have taken, considered. So z transform of un is equal to, it is 1 by root 2. So I will go back, what is equation number 1? So equation number 1 is what here? Uh, it is z transform of un is equal to 1 by root 2 and will replace z transform cos n theta answer and z transform of sin n theta here and will uh, finalize the result now it is 1 by root 2 bracket so uh, cos z transform of cos n pi by 2 we got the answer z square divided by z square plus 1 minus minus then uh, z uh, transform of sin n pi by 2 is what here z divided by z square plus 1 so on taking lcm of the right hand side 1 by root 2 so lcm is what here z plus 1 sorry z square plus 1 lcm is z square plus 1 so cross multiply so lcm is same as we need to add the powers uh, add the numerators that is z square minus z or i can say that un we have considered as what here so z transform of cos of n pi by 2 plus 
pi by 4 is equal to what we got here z square minus z u root 2 i will multiply here root 2 times z square plus 1 so in this way we need to simplify the result here but one thing also you remember here that so the results uh, z transform cos n pi by 2 you can apply directly this result as well as this result here so this both the results are again important so if you want you can make a list of this also and you can make a list of this also so that uh, you can apply directly in future situations